welcome to another Bible adventure, and I am here with my friend. Remember we talked about that for like two weeks in a row now? Remember how the Israelites were in Egypt and they were slaves? Yeah, they were, it wasn't a very happy time for them. I don't disappear, guys! In the desert, they were running out of food that they started thinking that maybe they should have stayed in Egypt because at least there they had a little bit of food and in the desert there was nothing. N-O-T-H-I-N-G. <laughs> nothing, exactly. You know, God knew that they were scared and hungry. So God's gonna perform a miracle in the desert. I, I want fish! Fish, yes, that's what a shark would want. So that's what we're gonna talk about. Today's Bible story is in Exodus chapter 16. So let's get ready. Ready, guys? Ready! Ready! <laughs> God's people were on a journey to a land they would call their very own that God promised for them. It was called the Promised Land. For years, the people had been slaves in Egypt, but now they were free and on their way to a new home with Moses as their leader. But to get there, they had to walk many miles through the desert. God continued to take care of his people on their journey. During the day, God placed a pillar or a tower of cloud in front of them so that they would know exactly where to go. Even though they were in a desert, God led them to places where they had plenty of water to drink. But soon, the food was all gone and the people began to doubt God to take care of them. They remembered their life back in Egypt. They began remembering the good things about Egypt that they missed and forgot all about the way Pharaoh treated them so badly. The people began complaining to Moses and wishing they could go back to Egypt. Moses prayed to God about it and he asked God to help the people. But God never forgets his people. God told Moses that food was about to rain down out of heaven. And God did just as he said. Every evening, a great flock of quail, a kind of bird, would fly into the camp. The people would gather them and eat. And in the morning, when the people woke up, there were little white flakes covering the ground. They were little crackers. The people called this manna. Each day, they gathered the manna and took it home to make bread. But God said to only gather enough manna for their families. But some people did not listen. <gasps> They were greedy and gathered more than God had told them to. They thought they could save some for later. This seemed like a good idea at first, but then the extra manna started to rot and got worms. They realized that they should have listened to God. God gave Moses other instructions. God also said to keep the Sabbath holy. If one of the Ten Commandments, Rachel, to God's enough manna, on the sixth day, throw out the Sabbath, so then you can eat. Because on the Sabbath, manna will not fall. But once again, some of the people did not listen to God. I will listen. Some people did not gather enough manna for the Sabbath, and they were hungry that day. I bet they really wish they had obeyed God. Next Sabbath, they would listen better. Next time, I will listen. For many years, God would provide manna and quail for the people. If they obeyed God, they did not have to be hungry. Many times we will complain or will not like what God tells us to do. But God will always love us and will take care of us no matter what we do. We can always ask and he will supply. Now it's time for questions. 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 Blood questions. What did the Israelites complain about in the desert? Raise your hand. Wow! Because you didn't have food. <gasps> yeah, and how did that make them feel? Hungry. Yay! They were hungry. Good job. What did God provide them to eat? Bread. That's right, bread. And what kind of 
bird. Does anyone remember the kind of bird? It starts with a Q, yeah. Quail. 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 Good job. Quail, yes. What did God say to do for the Sabbath? They, they're supposed to gather enough food for the Sabbath day. That's yeah. true. Before the Sabbath, right? Yeah. Not on the Sabbath. God didn't want that. He wanted them to rest. And last question. I know you know this answer. Can we trust God? Yeah! Bible verse. Ready? Our Bible verse is in Philippians 4, 19. Say my, my, my and then God, because he's up there, uh, will meet, me, like me, me. it's meeting, right? All your needs, all your needs, according to the riches, according to the riches, of his glory, of his glory, in Christ Jesus, in Christ Jesus, That's awesome. and my God, The riches, of the, the riches, riches of the glory, of the, the glory of Christ Jesus. Of Christ Jesus. Philippians 4:19. Philippians 4:19. Shocky shock shock. 4:19. <laughs> okay, now we're gonna pray. Sammy, will you pray for us? Yeah. Everybody, let's bow our heads and close our eyes. Dear God, thank you for taking care of me. Thanks because you know what is best for me and my family. Help me understand and obey you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Amen, guys. Okay, guys. So stick around. Now we're going to do a craft that has to do with today's Bible story. So hang tight. Hey, guys. Say, see you later. See you Bye. Later. Hi guys! Okay, we're back. We're going to be making thankful baskets. You know how the Israelites had to pick up the manna and put it in their basket? Well, we're going to make little baskets where we're going to put quail and manna, I have bread, in our baskets and we're going to write on it what we're thankful for for the things that God has provided for us. So for this craft, you just need like brown paper bags and you can have some construction paper that is we cut out to be bread and little birds. So let's get started. So we cut off a piece of our, of our lunch bag and we folded the edges down so it has a cute little edge and we taped it down. And now I'm gonna cut from the extra and this is gonna be our handle. We're gonna tape it to the edges so you can pick it up. Go taco, 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 taco. While I fold your basket, why don't you start writing, or you can draw a picture, of things that you're thankful for that God gave you. You can write it or draw it on this bird or bread. Tell me, Sammy, what's one thing you're thankful for? My, my bed and my toy. Good! Uh, okay, so write it down or you can draw a picture on your bird or your bread. Mika did. Read wow, it. What does it say, Mika? Mika. Like you thankful Mika! It says thankful Mika. Exactly. <laughs> you can draw a picture of food. Yeah, what's your favorite food, Sam? Pizza. Pizza, pizza. <laughs> this is Sammy's basket. His thankful basket. When you're done, Sammy, you can put your birds, your quail, and your bread inside your basket. Hey, if you're thankful for your iPad, go for it. Oh, I'm thankful for my iPad too. Um, I'm thankful for my Pink and blue. iPad in my family. So that's me, huh? Nice, I like it. What's that one? I like I love my dad. Oh, that's so sweet. Okay, Victoria, I did your bag. There's your bag. So you can put your first bread in there of your family. Um thankful for my flesh. You want to go to school? I love my mom. Ta-da! <laughs> nice. I'm also thankful for my country. I'll, I'll do this for you and you can just copy. Right here, copy that onto your bird. Thankful for the trees that, that God makes. Okay guys, we're all done with our crafts. We're gonna, I'm gonna take pictures so you guys can see what the kids did. Here, show your bags. 
They're so awesome. They're thankful baskets. Just like the Israelites put all the manna and quail inside. Now you have your manna and quail of thankfulness. Okay, guys, so we'll see you next week. Let us know if you were able to try the craft as well. Like and subscribe. Bye, and bye guys. Bye. See you later. Have a great Like and subscribe. Thank you see very you much. Later. Bye. 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 Love you. you bye. Thank you. Bye.